What's going on, guys? Boosting 914 back at it again. Just wanted to make a little video. You know, haven't uploaded in a week or so. My bad. I screwed up. My fault. You know, but I just wanted to make a video about a couple of things. One, yeah, I'm a little bit late. Gen 3, they released 25 new Pokemon. I've been out here grinding, catching them, trying to get good IVs, you know. I'm dealing with Kyogre also. Trying to get a good IV Kyogre as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to February 24th, the next community day, which has Dratini, you know. Three hour lures again. We also have triple stardust per catch. Now, I don't know if that's going to be triple stardust per Dratini only or Dratini Dragonair and Dragonite, or if it's going to include all the Pokemon. One more thing I'm not sure about, which I really hope that they do, is if we get the shiny version of Dratini. Oh my god, I would love that. Pink Dratini, green Dragonite. A little bit of, a little bit of dragon sword in there. Yes, that's that, that's my that, that's my dude. Yes, so I'm kind of hoping that we really do get the uh, shiny variant of Dratini. If not, he is gonna have a exclusive move, which I personally think might be the legendary move that they took out from him. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But that's what I think the exclusive move might be. Also, one more thing I wanted to talk about was EX passes. I really hope Niantic is watching this video because if they're not going to get rid of EX passes, which I hope they do, at least turn EX raids into something else, not just Mewtwo. Like, all right, they said that we have all the shiny variants to every Pokemon in the game. So why not just do this? Get an EX Raid Pass, same catch rate as Mewtwo, but you know something? It'll be a chance at a shiny version of whatever Pokemon they have as that EX Raid boss, you know? Also, I wish they would extend the timers on raids a little bit more and extend the timer for the world in general because on the East Coast, you know, people who gotta work at 5, 5.30, if we're lucky, we only get one, maybe two raids, you know? At least crank them out until 8, 8.30, maybe even 9 o'clock, because you got to remember, after 7 o'clock, 7.30, you know, that's only giving us one shot at one raid, at least if it's 8.30, maybe even 9 o'clock. The weather's getting nicer, you know? There'll be more parking available as well. It'll just give us a better opportunity, you know, because there are a lot of hardworking people out there that do have nine to fives. So that's one of the other things that I think that they should do besides just the EX raid passes, either getting rid of them or just giving us a shiny variant forms of like all different Pokemon as raid bosses. And uh, yeah, that's just my, that's my whole thing with the EX raid system and raids in general i mean granted we would love for them to even tweak the raid system a bit give us more than maybe a swipe option you know give us like a little keypad where we can make the pokemon jump we can make the pokemon duck we can actually make a move side to side instead of hoping that he moves side to side and not get hit and get lag killed like we're dealing with now you know that's my little bit of criticism criticism for the way the game is now. Granted, the game is progressing a lot better. You know, we're getting more frequent updates. We're getting new content little by little. I'm fine with that. But that's just something I think that they could do to give us more more options, more, more things to look forward to. You know, that's just one of my beefs that I have but other than that guys um in the future if you ever see me at a raid or anywhere and I'm filming or if I'm making a preview video don't be afraid to come by say what up give your shout outs in the videos I'm a very friendly person 
you do not have to be scared, you know, I'm not going to sit here and bite your heads off, but that's my video, I'm not going to try to extend this out to 10 minutes because YouTube has their new thing where you have to get so much views and it's got to be 10 minutes long, I'm not doing this to even come close to trying to make money, I'm doing this because I like the community. You guys are great. I met a lot of fun people doing this game. There's more people to meet out there, you know. With that being said, the Silth Road, that whole trainer card thing, love it. I would suggest you guys uh, sign up. That way, the people you do meet, whether you're at home in your native town or if you're out somewhere visiting somewhere else, you know, at least remember who you met with, get a little badge, get the networks out there a little bit. Also add your discords, you know, make it easier for someone who's new to the game or wanting to come back to the game, find a community to link up with because remember, doing raids, if it's more than a level one, level two, or possibly depending on what level three, you're gonna need more than just one person themselves. So guys, that's uh, my video for today. I am learning more and more about the editing software, so bear with me. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither was my YouTube channel. And for all of my subscribers, I really do appreciate it. All the likes, all the comments, I do read it. I do appreciate them. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notifications, because I'm getting little, better little by little at this uh, editing thing. One of my friends, Diego, he actually made an intro music note for me. So that should be in this video or the next upcoming video. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys out in the field, at a raid, community day, or just farming. All right, guys. Have a good night. Enjoy the new batch of Gen 3. And see you around.